to Danza's recipes. Um, so this is episode three in our Jamaica Month shirt series. I'm not even sure what to call it. But today, I am making something that I don't eat. So y'all might be wondering how this works. It's just cause I rate on it differently. So, you know, I will go above and beyond. So today I'm making oxtail and blue cheese sliders. Um, just something quick and easy that you can whip up, you know, during the week, uh, maybe on a weekend if you have guests coming over. You know, it's very simple, it's very easy, like super, super easy. And more importantly, it is super tasty. Now, y'all might be wondering, how do you know that it's tasty if you don't eat oxtail? Well, one, mommy tried it and she liked it very much. And I did try it and I did like it. But still, it's a no from me for oxtail. Now, I know y'all probably going to drag me in the comments down below, but that's okay. Anyways, big, big shout out to Loxan. Um, she sponsored this video today. So, you know big up locks um and also make sure you guys check out her instagram page i'll put that in the description box below and you should be seeing it on your screen now girl the air and thing and girl well well good um all in all guys you know this week's video is going to be pretty quick because like i said it's just um mini burger sliders that i think you guys are going to enjoy all right guys and also i know that last week I had said that one person would have received um, a jamele if they had guessed the correct flavor. One person did. I'm going to be responding to your comment and you can DM me on Twitter or Instagram and we will arrange how to get you your things because you nice and you deserve things. Anyways guys, that's it from me today. Um, I have closed Jamily orders for this week, but once they reopen, I'll also include that in whichever video that I do next. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know about any questions about substitutions that you may have in the comments down below. And of course, guys, um, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. I absolutely love the reception that I got from my last breadfruit taco video. So, you know, big up Uno. Thank you to everybody who has subscribed so far. You know, I hope to continue to put out great content that you guys love. All right, guys, so let's go jump into the kitchen and make these sliders today. So the first thing we're going to get started on is preparing the seasoning for our oxtail overnight. So I'll just be doing a quick recording to show you guys that. So I've chopped onion, thyme, scallion, scotch bonnet, pepper, and some garlic. And that's what we're going to be starting off with as the base of our season for oxtail. So let's go. So our first seasoning is in, so it's time for us to add the powdered stuff. Alright guys, so we've added our fresh and powdered seasoning. We're just going to let this marinate for between 6 to 12 hours and then we can get started on cooking. Alright guys, so it's the next day and I have some heated vegetable oil that I am going to be adding my already seasoned and marinated oxtail to. And what I'll be doing is, you know, a good old Jamaican technique. I'm just going to be browning the oxtail before I get to pressuring it. Alright, so we're good and ready to turn our oxtail. Once they start catching that little brownish color, you want to turn them and then we keep doing so and then we just set them aside and then we'll just add everything to the pressure cooker after we've browned up everything. 
So in my pressure cooker, I have just some vegetable oil that I have heating up. I will be adding the browned oxtail pieces to this pot along with some water and vegetable stock and then I'm just going to be pressuring it for about 20 to 30 minutes because I do want it extra soft and tender so it falls off the bone quite easily. All right, so we're just gonna let this pressure in the meantime we're gonna get started on our slaw and our blue cheese dressing all right so we're gonna get started on our blue cheese dressing just to get some cream in there so we're starting off with a half cup of mayonnaise Okay guys, so that's it for our blue cheese dressing. We're just gonna set that in the fridge while we wait on our oxtail to finish pressuring. Then we'll get started on our slaw next. Okay guys, so for our slaw, the first thing I'm gonna get started on is shredding some cabbage. So next we're adding some thinly sliced radishes. I'll be adding a Granny Smith apple just for a crisp, fresh bite, um, just to balance out all of those flavors that we have going for us. And of course, you know, I always have to have some fresh herb in there, so we're using parsley today. Alright, so for the slaw, we're just going to be hitting it with rice wine vinegar and sugar. Of course, if you have any other type of vinegar, that can work. But we can't add uh, any more mayonnaise or anything like that to the slaw because we would have already had that thick blue cheese creamy dressing. All right, so we're finished pressuring and things. So now we're just gonna re-season our pot because we would have lost some flavor by the addition of the water and the vegetable stock. So we're just building that flavor again um, while the oxtail just kind of simmers a bit. Alright guys, so I have removed the bone from the oxtail, shredded the meat. So what I'll be doing next is I'll just toast up the buns, assemble and then show you guys the finished product. Alright, so we have buttered our buns. I've placed them on a contact grill. Now you guys can use a griddle if you don't have a contact grill. Like time it too hot and I was ready to turn off the stove. So I'm just using my contact griddle to just toast them up, get them nice and golden brown, not too crispy but still soft on the inside. And then I'm gonna just assemble and show you guys the finished product. Alright guys, so we're at the end and this is our finished product. Um, all in all, I think that this is very, very pretty. Like, to say the least, it's extremely pretty. But let's talk about flavor. Um, the 
oxtail is very well seasoned and it's also very spicy because i did hit it with chili powder and cayenne pepper but then all of that is just balanced out from that creamy blue cheese dressing like i could not eat that non-stop and then the acidity from that slaw and the sweetness just kind of cuts through all of that fat all of the heat thus making it very very balanced um i think that it is a really really tasty slider and you guys know that i'm not a big fan of oxtail but i really feel like i'm fine with the one here. anyways let me know what you guys think about this video in the comments down below also let me know if this is something that you guys would try to make and of course if you have questions about substitutions feel free to shoot those to me on twitter or instagram i have no problem answering those anyways guys that's it from me this week i'll see you guys next week on episode four of our jamaican cuisine short series and that's our final episode by the way so you know i'm looking forward to that all right guys so that's it don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and as usual everything is fine and dancy